Hi, it's Oliver again. Hello and welcome. And today I received another question, a pretty important one. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you for uh, submitting questions into the comment section because this, of course, helps me also keep the channel active because I can respond to them. And today, a question which I consider pretty important uh, because I've been uh, uh, we've been confronted uh, with a similar case uh, before. The question is as, uh, as follows. I have uh, recently purchased the Swift microscope for homeschooling my daughter and it's fantastic. I would like to go a step further and get into growing some microbes in petri dishes for her to observe. I just wanted to ask uh, if uh, this is a safe thing to do at home and if so, how should safely how should we safely dispose of these petri dishes afterwards? Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. And um, I'll give you a short answer. With good conscience, I cannot recommend that you grow, grow bacteria um, at home in petri dishes because you are, if you grow unknown bacteria, you are automatically in biohazard level two. There are four biohazard levels, okay? And the first one is, is when you work uh, with known bacteria. Um, basically, this is the level where you do actually uh, university and, and training and so on um, using a bacteria. So they are known, these are known cultures, usually E. coli bacteria, uh, E. coli K12, that's a specific strain of E. coli bacterium which is uh, not pathogenic. Um, and if you start to work already with unknown bacteria that you have isolated, let's say from your skin or from water samples, from the air, whatever, then you're automatically in biohazard level two. And this already means that you actually have to um, yeah, stick to several uh, yeah, safety, uh, safety uh, criteria. Now, you might say, okay, if this is the case, then can I not uh, buy myself uh, some... Uh, uh, e. coli K12 uh, bacteria from a shop and then basically use that. And the thing is, is for two reasons this might be uh, difficult or problematic. Um, those laboratory supply shops or uh, culture collections, they usually do not sell um, bacteria to non-school or non-university um, institutions that do not sell to private people. This could be an issue. Um, I've seen, however, that there are some school supplies, school supplies which might still do that. Okay, so you have to do some research. And the second thing why I do not uh, recommend that you even work with uh, the so-called the safe bacteria is is because uh, you and you the chances are pretty good that, that you will also end up growing contaminants uh, from the air that dropped in from the air. Um, and then you again have unknown bacteria in your petri dish. And I would simply not recommend uh, that you actually then um, yeah, do that. And then uh, it's not only like this, that uh, they stay in the petri dish, uh, those bacteria, but you're going to be taking them out. You'll be putting them on a slide and so on. So you're actually working with them. And this, of course, uh, increases the danger that you're actually getting some stuff on, on your fingers. Okay, And especially if you grow unknown bacteria, the bacterial concentration in petri dishes is, is crazily high. Okay, It's... it's uh, um, <laughs> I would say almost unnaturally high because in nature you rarely find, well, I mean, let's say in a compost container, maybe yes, uh, but uh, you don't normally don't find bacteria in such a high concentration in nature, okay? But uh, you'll be growing them in such high concentrations on a Petri dish. So considering that there are, um, I would say, uh, safe alternatives, which are um, equally interesting uh, things uh, and uh, which basically are completely safe, I would uh, therefore probably not do that, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to tell you now right now a little bit what things have been done in school because I know that this question keeps on reappearing and I know that the websites actually that uh, um, talk about that, how you can actually, for example, uh, use fingerprints, okay? You have a Petri dish um, and you make a thumb print um, on one side and the other thumb you clean with different uh, yeah, uh, alcohols or soap and so on. You make another thumb print and you're going to see that there are lots of bacteria growing there where you did not wash your hands. So basically where uh, there was, it was not disinfected, you see this. Um, this is a very, um, yeah, a common thing, a very impressive thing uh, to do uh, for education, but um, you will be actually touching the Petri dish and what it could be is there could be contaminants, microcolonies on there, microcolonies that you do not see and then you'll end up transferring those microcolonies on your on your thumb, okay? Um, so uh, this actually means that, uh, yeah, even if you don't take it out of the Petri dish, there are those uh, side risks and if you have somewhere a wound and you don't know really uh, what these bacteria, bacterial colon colonies are, you don't know what bacteria Bacteria they are, so you might actually end up uh, um, spreading around bacteria, and especially if you take bacteria from your th skin, these are maybe potentially pathogenic because they have the possibility to actually also grow on on human skin. So I, I cannot um, advise this. So my um, thing number one, um, because um, I'm I know that this is a, a general. Um, 
issue that uh, comes reappearing, I decided I'm going to put some videos online um, on how to actually observe safe specimens because I've been a biology teacher now for 20 years. Um, so I, I know that this, uh, the issue about using microscopes to observe microorganisms and growing them and so on, that is a, 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 an issue that keeps on reappearing also with, uh, with other people, biology teachers that I talk to. Um, so I, I decided to, that I'm going to over the summer, upcoming summer holidays to actually um, um, have a, you know, maybe make a few videos where, uh, which kind of instruct uh, um, people who want to do some homeschooling or other teachers, of course, uh, um, on some of the few th safe things that you can do. And there are some safe and interesting things that you can do, okay? Um, so that is, uh, I, of course, I have to end the whole thing with a story. Um, I, I, when I did my diploma, a master's thesis um, at, uh, in microbiology, now over, over 20 years ago, um, it was like this, that I analyzed uh, bacteria, did a biochemical analysis of bacteria that we isolated from air, uh, from air, yeah, air bacteria, because we did an air quality assessment in our research group. It was like this, that uh, I, my job was to, was to um, analyze uh, biochemically 19 different strains that I isolated, 19 of them, and I kept the petri dishes stacking on my table in front of me, okay? Uh, just like the other people did in the lab, because we all worked in a, a microbiological lab, and we had I don't know, hundreds of petri dishes stacked and then we had a safety inspection. The guy really got upset with us, okay? Uh, because as, as you're working in uh, biohazard level two um, and uh, you cannot simply stack uh, the Petri dishes uh, in front of you. And uh, basically he said is we have to lock them away, okay? They cannot be, uh, somebody can bump into them, they can fall over, you try to pick them up, you, you touch the, the, the agar medium, the bacteria and so on. And then I basically, I said, I was like, well, but I mean, <laughs> these are bacteria in the air. I mean, we, we inhale them, okay? I mean, we isolated them from air. These are not bacteria that uh, we've grown from 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 infective infected wounds or anything like this okay the natural environment is here we're exposed to them but, he said, but you don't know he said you don't know what you're growing okay um, unless you've identified them yeah and you don't know that and and uh, he basically yeah uh, made us uh, to reinforce the, the the safety even more because he said you're working in level two okay and you have to and it's my job as, as a the as safety inspector to ensure that you guys are sticking um, uh, yeah to uh, to the rules and regulations and uh, yeah and it's like this that uh, if you um, do stuff like this in school or at, at home when you work with unknown bacteria you are in an elevated safety category and strictly speaking there are certain laws that apply um, because you're not an authorized laboratory to do that it, I think the laws they differ a little bit from country to country okay um, so my advice is uh, so uh, to kind of uh, uh, tell you the following is is um, observe yeast cells uh, they are pretty large easy to observe edible that's fine um, observe uh, cells uh, from um, from from cheese where uh, you've essentially isolated some bacteria from cheese or especially the fungus uh, from from certain uh, cheeses are it's fine to observe okay uh, yogurt contains bacteria that contain cocci a little bit difficult to see because there's so much other stuff in there as well also milk and and and, and fat uh, particles and so on but uh, if you're careful enough you can see also back the bacteria the cocci in chains even uh, from um, yeah from uh, uh, from yogurt um, and in my other channel uh, there is uh, a video that uh, ba where I basically I put uh, a water sample from a rotten plant flower uh, in, under the microscope um, yeah strictly speaking this is also something uh, where um, you have to be extra careful because you're also ending up growing bacteria uh, where you don't know what it is okay um, also concerning the disposal in your question how should you safely dispose of them you have to autoclave them you have to actually for half an hour or so you have to pressure cook them at 100 uh, I don't know 20 20 degrees centigrade um, and uh, you need a pressure cooker for that um, alternatively you can um, but that's not the way that you should do it I mean there is a way to kill them off by using hydrogen peroxide this don't get this stuff on your skin uh, because it's super aggressive um, actually you have to autoclave it okay um, uh, yeah um, so you see that there's also disposal disposal issue and what I just also wanted to say is is the following uh, final remark I know that uh, if you go online you're sometimes going to see um, recipes for making so-called um, hay infusions they call this um, you take dry grass mix it with water and let it let it stand for some time and this uh, basically should uh, will grow a lot of microorganisms um, not not a good thing to do either okay because uh, the bacterial concentration in the hay infusion is also extremely high um, and uh, it's um, been done before um, I know uh, because this is a way of growing uh, bacteria uh, but I would say as a final remark it, pro it probably is more interesting if you want to grow something um, at home I consider it more interesting probably to grow 
um, Paramecia um, to grow those, they, they used to call them sea monkeys. And these are actually uh, shrimp, uh, small crabs, uh, saltwater crabs. You can uh, buy them in, in, in a kit. Um, and they're called, uh, they used to call them sea monkeys. Uh, if you Google it, uh, you'll, you'll find this. But these are actually uh, Artemia. It's called the genus Artemia, um, uh, saline, basically um, saltwater shrimp. And they basically sell kits that you can do with your kids at home, okay? So that's a, a something that I can can recommend or that you go to a shop also where you um, uh, where they sell fish food and maybe you can buy yourself a, a small bag of, of Daphnia. Daphnia, these are water fleas and they're used as live fish food. Um, and uh, I know these are not bacteria, okay? But they're because they're so much larger and uh, because uh, there's so much, yeah, I think there is, um, I think it's more interesting um, than than actually uh, to do a microscopy um, activity with uh, with kids. It's more interesting than than growing um, bacteria in a petri dish. Okay, um, so and you can also learn a lot about uh, science uh, by growing uh, these other um, uh, organisms. Okay, uh, because essentially what you want to learn also is, is uh, you want to teach the kids uh, not only um, actually the actual content and how you grow or how you maintain a, a, an aquarium, but actually also the process and, and the steps involved in the systematic approach of problem solving. I think that is in science, it's the more, even the more important thing than actually doing a certain specific experiment. Okay, um, I, I see that I'm already getting a little bit sidetracked. I want to thank you again for the question. It's really uh, um, an, an interesting one because, it, uh, because I've had similar questions already before because we have in school, uh, Honestly, in school we have uh, where work we've uh, had discussions like this, um, and yeah, I wish you a nice day. Uh, bye bye, all the best.